some inventions really do try to inject a bit of fun into our lives. But then again, there are other entrepreneurs who are working on really serious ideas. This next concept is around an issue that many of us may face in the years to come. The number of people with dementia is expected to double in the next 20 years. In the next decade, it's expected to get a lot worse as people are living longer. This next guy owns a company called Cradle and he's developed a product where he says he's selling peace of mind. Now, it's particularly interesting to me because I look after my mum and what this guy is trying to do is keep track of people but giving a person confidence to maybe go a little bit further. My name is Paul Moorhead and I'm here to tell you about Cradle. It's a product which will enable people to be confident that their elderly relatives are safe and well at home. To find out more, I've come to meet with Philip and Liz Cunningham, who live in supported accommodation just off the Shankill Road. Philip's wife, Liz, suffers with early onset dementia, and they are both keen to find out how the cradle system could affect Liz's life and that of her family. So how would this be useful to Liz then? There's really two parts to the system. There's a, a base station, which is the console sitting here, and there's a wrist strap, which Liz has kindly put on for us. The base station has some environmental sens sensing capabilities, so you can tell that somebody's in the room, you know, they're up and about, knows the temperature, those kinds of things. The wrist strap knows a lot more, so at the moment it's monitoring Liz's heart rate, her skin temperature, it can detect falls and seizures. And the idea originated because of my mother. She's one of the two million people over 75 in the UK who are living alone. She's in pretty good health by and large, but she's had a couple of falls and started to get worried about her and thought there's a way for technology to help this problem. To better understand the potential for Paul's machine, I wanted to speak to Liz alone so that I could find out for myself what life was like for her living with dementia. Did you go out onto the Shankill Road now on your own? I wouldn't feel confident, no. It's the disorientation. I kind of looked out for landmarks. And if I was walking up, I would look out for things. But then, by the time you're coming back, you forgot what you, you actually sing. You seem so coherent not, now. Not all the time. Not all the time. I think the most upsetting thing is forgetting my daughter. What she looked like. I wouldn't even go into the house. I was just so shocked at this girl standing there that I didn't know. Really, really physically and mentally upset me. I'm sure it did. That's your daughter. You know, that's my baby. It's very hard when you're watching yourself deteriorate. And that's, that is the most emotional part for me. The emotional impact of dementia on Liz's life is all too apparent. So it would be great if an invention could really make a difference. If I go out on my own, I would get lost, and that's a big concern. I sort of look around and I don't know where I am. Next thing, I should have mentioned perhaps there's a panic button on the device as well, yes. so that would report you know, where you were, and they could be with you fairly quickly. That's exactly what I would need, because you get yourself so stressed out, I would feel almost I'm going to blow my mind. People around me is looking at me, you know, making a scene, almost. What do you think of a Philip? I think I'd be good because, as Liz says, if she gets lost, which she has done in the past, I'd, I would get an alert to say where she is. Paul's system actually learns the wearer's behaviour. So his idea is that it will send an instant alert to your carer if it thinks they are not up and about when they should be. Or, for example, if they've forgotten to take their medicine. In my life at the minute, someone who I love, it's difficult to get them to take their medicine uh, at, uh, at the right time, especially when there are loads of tablets to take and things like that. Medication reminders is probably the most important use case here. When you should take which medications. And if you don't press a button to confirm that you have, then again, an alert would go to a carer to say, you know, Mum may not be taking her meds. She'll probably get on the phone and check she's OK. In a way, the way I'm thinking of it is, I, I'm still trying to be independent. And, you know, I don't want to have to have Philip with me 24 hours a day because it's not fair in him. And if I had something like this, I'm not saying it would go far, but I would attempt out with this. Do you know what I mean? It would give you the confidence yes, to try. exactly. 
something about this one really pulls on my heartstrings. No, no, and I don't, that's terrible. I can speak from personal experience because my grandmother, um, not dementia, but she had Alzheimer's. Uh, I'm not so sure how good something like that would be at the later stages of Alzheimer's, but certainly, oh, you know, in the early, in the yeah, early yeah. stages, it would be. Working in healthcare, this is a topical, massively topical issue at the yeah. moment, these monitoring devices. If, she, if, if the issue here is that, you know, these people are forgetting things, um, well, what if, you know, they wake up and they go, what's that in my wrist, and they take it off, you know? I do think this goes a step further, because most of them are wear around your neck. And this idea of putting it around your wrist to monitor your body temperature and everything is fascinating. And it's a big progressive step forward. Yeah. But you would want to know that in the likes of America and places, this doesn't already exist because there are a lot of things out there like this. I would maybe like to see it incorporated into a watch or something like that. Something that isn't going to startle them then to think, what is on my arm? You know, if, if, if you can create a way to add it on to an everyday object that they are used to. I have a relative who's in their 80s and every morning she texts me. And she texts me, N-D-Y, right? Which stands for not dead yet. <laughs> That's just the truth, and it's a great system. And I text her back, N-A-I, neither am I. 